hello friends welcome to our channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion hub if this is your first time of stopping by you're welcome please hit the subscribe button and join the amazing family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always stopping by and always coming back to watch our videos so guys today i'm going to be teaching you how you can make a camisole that you can wear in a see-through clothes it can be a lace it can be a net it can be any clothes that is transparent so i'm going to be explaining to you how you can make this um coming so if this is what you want to learn then keep watching now already folded my fabric i'm going to be using this doll face i'm using one and half yard okay so if you are a plus size you, you will be needing two yards of doll face okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is to fold my fabric i already folded my fabric into into four okay now once you must note in this camera so you have to determine the design you're making okay the style you're making if it's a free one a a shape or a fitted one okay it's not supposed to be fitted though okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is to draw my starting line I was using a white chalk so i discovered that it wasn't really obvious so i decided to use a colored chalk to do my markings okay so the first thing i did is to draw my starting line now after that i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement the shoulder i'm working with is 17 okay sorry the shoulder i'm working with is 14 inches divided by by two is seven inches so this is me just marking my shoulder measurement okay 14 divided by 2 is 7 so i just mark my shoulder measurement which is 7 on a norms you are supposed to add half an inch to it if you are sewing a regular gun because you're supposed to join it to the sleeve but for this camisole you don't need that because it's not going to be having a sleeve so you just mark your exact measurement after that i'm going to go down by 9 inches um, my chest line is supposed to be eight inches, but because this is a camisole and I want it free, the the ammo is supposed to be free so that it doesn't choke you or it doesn't come out of the the clothes. So I'm just marking nine inches instead of eight inches. So after that, I just connected it into my to create my chest line and my arm oh okay after that i marked three inches for the neck depth i'm still going to modify it later okay so after that i just did that so that it helps me mark my shoulder slope okay so i mark my one inch shoulder slope like you can see on the screen and i connected it to the neck line like i said i'm still going to do some modification later for that neckline okay after that okay so the neck original neckline i want to do is seven inches okay now what i have in that shoulder left is four inches i'm going to measure it what i have there because this camisole uh, camisole um shoulder is supposed to be very small tiny not too so tiny though i want my own to be one inch by the time i'm done aiming so i'm going to cut one and a half inches okay so just watch what i'm doing i looked for the midpoint of what is left it's four inches the midpoint is two inches so i just marked the midpoint can you see because i want my own to be one inches when i'm done sewing it aiming the shoulder and the ammo so i'm going to mark 0 0.75 at my left hand side and 0 0.75 at my right hand side so that's going to give me 1.5 inches altogether can you see what i'm doing i marked the midpoint first so from the midpoint i marked 0 0.75 inches okay on both sides okay so that's what i'm doing now after that i'm just going to now modify my neckline like so okay so that's uh, my neckline is now going to be 4.5 inches from that shoulder measurement that's where i'm going to modify my neckline okay so now my neckline is going to the depth of my neckline is going to be seven inches but you can decide to do six inches but you can't do five inches that is because if you do five inches it will end up coming out of the clothes or showing under the cloth like when you wear your clothes it's going to be showing so it's actually depend on the neckline you're you're doing for the original clothes okay so you will make sure that this neckline for this um camisole is low 
but not too low you can do between six to nine inches depending on what you want but for me i don't want it too low so i'm doing seven inches after that i just connect to my neck width okay i'm not using the three inches note that i'm using the other one okay so now i'm marking the midpoint of my arm o okay so now i'm going to connect my arm o can you see where i'm connecting from that um 1.5 inches not the first seven inches that i mark just watch what i'm doing you're going to get it okay i hope my explanation is clear enough okay so i'm just connecting it to the to the 1.5 inch can you see can you see how wide that shoulder is now that is because i don't want it too wide okay so now the length i'm using is 45 inches including my aiming allowance okay so my total length is 43 so i added two inches okay so this is me just marking my 45 inches across so that it helps me connect my points together so this is me just connecting my points together like this okay once i was done okay so for this one that i'm doing i'm doing a a line camisole okay so now at this point i'm going to mark my bust measurement divided by four which is nine point two five so i'm adding half an inch for ease you can add one inch you can add two inches depending on how free you want it to be okay i'm adding half an inch and i'm also adding one inch for my ease uh, my side seam allowance my seam allowance one inch for my seam allowance and half inch for my ease okay so now if you want your camisole to have shape if you want to be shapey now you're going to measure your half length i'm just trying to explain to you if you want your own to be shapey what you're going to do if you want your own to have shape so you're going to go ahead and mark your waist measurement there and your ease and seam allowance and then you connect also for your hip allowance your hip line sorry you're going to mark your hip line and also you put your hip measurement your ease allowance and your seam allowance and then you're going to go ahead to connect your lines together your points together sorry so you're also going to impute that measurement at your m line your hip measurement at your m line do you get it so you're going to just connect it like so like i illustrated here but for me i'm not going to do it that way i want a free one a a shape uh, camisole okay so i'm just explaining what you will do if you want your own to have shape just mark your hip measurements also at the end at the allowance but for me i'm not going to do that so what i'm going to do is after marking my hip measurements you're going to add five to six inches to it to get your a shape so me for me i added i added five inches <laughs> i beg your pardon so i'm just connecting from the bus line down to my m like like you can see on your screen so after that guys i'm just going to go ahead and connect my points and then cut it out so i also want you to note that if you want your shoulder to be wider you can increase it by two inches instead of one and a half inches i did your shoulder so this is me just marking my this is me just cutting out my my neckline my arm oh okay so i want you to know that the neckline for the front and the back are the same the arm oh also for the front and the back are the same because you're making a camisole okay so this is me just cutting and cutting cutting my my fabric okay so note that you have to cut before your lines okay don't cut after the lines cut before your lines so i'm done cutting now 
So I'm just opening it up. So this is what we have, guys. Now the next thing is that we are going to sew this camisole. I'm going to go ahead and join the shoulder by half an inch, joining both shoulder by half an inch. I'm going to use the bias to to turn the neckline and also the arm o okay so that's what i'm going to do after i was done doing that this is what i have okay at this point i haven't ironed it okay so this is what i have now the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and aim the lower part by half an inch and I folded half an inch and also fold one inch again so that is one and a half all together so just use the allowance you added to your own to aim it okay if you want like i'm explaining here that if you want this your shoulder to be wider instead of that 1.5 inches that i did you can do two inches okay that means you have to take one inch to your right and one inch to your left hand side okay so by the time you're done aim you're going to end up having 1.5 inches but for me i wanted my own to be one inch okay that is why i took 0.75 to the right and to the left okay i hope that is clear so you have to put all of this into consideration okay on a nose the shoulder is not meant to be wide no it's not meant to be too wide okay because it's a coming so if it's too wide it's going to end up coming out when you are wearing the coming so okay now you're going to go ahead and join the side and after i was done joining the side this is the final look of the camera so can you see how it's looking so beautiful and cute very easy to make this is the easiest thing you can think of okay very easy okay once you get the cutting it is very easy to make this camisole okay guys so i want you to know that we have different types of camisole and different ways of making camisole okay so if you want to see other method and other ways of making camisole please drop a comment on the comment section i'm going to do another video on another design another style of how to make camisole okay please please don't forget to subscribe like and give this video a huge thumbs up okay hope you love this video and if this video has been helpful to you please please give us a thumbs up my name is esther and this is qs fashion up don't stop learning keep learning see you in the next tutorial bye, -bye. love you